Hey guys, Paul here with Patek Photography and Gear Reviews. In this short video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about shooting overhead videos for products. I'm going to show you the entry level setup that I started with probably a few months ago. Uh, even though I've had my YouTube channel for a good seven years or so, really only got interested in shooting overhead uh, a while ago just to improve the quality of what I was doing. And I started with this rig and then switched to something that was uh, a lot more robust. And so I'm going to show you the entry level setup and then I'm going to show you the more advanced setup. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's take a look at the entry level setup that I started with. And it basically consists of three parts. So what you've got here is an impact super clamp. And then I've got uh, a couple of arms or extension arms, I'm not sure what you want to call these, but uh, this is also an impact product. Got, got all this stuff from B&H except for this little ball head mechanism up here. And the part number on the articulating arm, that's it, articulating arm, there you go, <laughs> is it's an impact product. It's a BHE 107 uh, EC0316. And not bad, works pretty good. Um, you know, plastic joints, plastic joints, plastic joints, good, you know, good thumb handles here, um, good control that way. And then all I used on the end here is a little ball head uh, that I got from some Chinese online reseller, what have you. And I just mount my camcorder to this. And then, so really what I was doing was I would clamp this onto the bookshelf behind me and I'll give you a close look in a second. And then my camera could go on here and I was able to shoot straight down and or I could run this way and I've got lots of flexibility. You can move this thing a thousand and one different ways. And really for uh, the first little while it wasn't too bad and then what I noticed was that if you take this thing and just put a little bit of pressure on it because the joints are plastic you get a little bit of flexibility and you know you've got this weak joint this one this one this one so the one thing I can tell you is that the super clamps are rock solid I mean they don't budge at all they've got a lock a, a joint that you can lock down real snug and that's all you need but um, this articulating arm I think it's okay for my Canon camcorder, HF R500. Um, but if I just put a D200 or a D3300 on here, uh, my Sony A6000 would be okay. But uh, I just didn't like the fact that every time I hit the record button, I'd have to wait 60 seconds for the vibration to stop and then I could record. So this was the entry level setup. Now let's take a look at uh, the more robust system. I'll uh, show you some pictures first and I'll walk you through the setup and then uh, we can go from there. Okay guys, so let me run down this new setup for you. Uh, let's start at the top here. As you can see, I got a couple of 2x4s uh, bolted to the ceiling or screwed into the ceiling. And so the first thing I did was I took the old uh, impact 9 inch wall plate with a baby pin on the end of it and mounted that to an impact KCP 200 uh, grip head. From there, I used a Kupo grip arm pin. It's a baby 5 8 um, which is going into a Kupo tilting umbrella adapter with uh, 5 8 stud adaptability. And this thing is a real nice piece of kit. A um, little pricey, $33, so Canadian is probably about 40 bucks or so, but worth every penny. I mean, it, it holds what it's supposed to hold, and, and you can use it in this application to hold a fairly substantial weight. Um, from the uh, Kupo umbrella head, I went to an old Manfrotto uh, tripod head that I have, and this is really nice in this application because it's got these nice big uh, handles for adjusting your angles, holds rock solid, couldn't be happier with it. Um, that holds to this general brand right angle bracket, a bracket through a Manfrotto tripod cleat. And the general bracket is really good because it allows me to mount the Asden uh, shotgun microphone. This is a stereo shotgun microphone really nice piece of kit and then the Canon uh, camcorder I'm using is the HFR 500 and so all in all it's a great setup so let's take a look at some footage and some images that I've shot with this setup so you can get an idea of what it looks like and we'll go from there okay so here's a couple of images uh, that I've shot recently 
um, one short section of footage that I shot for camera bag. And so you'll get the idea of the quality of the setup. And then it's really just your choice um, how much money you want to spend. If you go with the entry level setup, you know, you're looking at $25, $30 for the super clamp, another 25 bucks for the articulating arm and maybe five bucks for the little ball head. Uh, and you're off to the races, uh, but it has limitations. And then when you look at the more expensive setup, I'll give you a price list and run down what the cost, the part numbers and the cost. I'll put those in the description for you. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at those pictures. Okay, so there you have it, two basic setups. You've got the entry level setup, you know, maybe $50 or under. You got the more advanced setup, which is pushing $100. Um, but it's up to you, uh, the type of quality that you want. I'm in a position now where I shoot a ton of YouTube videos, thoroughly enjoy it. You know, I can't see myself stopping anytime soon. I actually find this kind of therapeutic. I just come home from the day job, come down into the studio, take my time and set up and, and do a shoot on, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, either answering a viewer question, solving a problem, or doing something like this, just kind of sharing information. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you in the next one.